Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Captain of Industry. Lots to do as always. Let's jump in and let's uh, knock out these little warnings and things on the left and the right. So ships in battle, we won. Was there any doubt? Of course. And location explored. Did we, where were we? Where was our battle? Is it this guy? No. I'm not sure where that was. Location explored. We found rubber, copper, and soybean seeds. Okay, very cool. I like it. And we have some stuff for the ship to do, I think. I think. We have a couple places for you to go. Yeah, you have cargo. You're supposed to be going to the settlement to pay a tribute. And is it, which one? Is it this guy? Deliver cargo. Boom. Okay, ship's off and running. That takes care of some of the stuff on the left. We're working on the cement production. We'll get there. And let's see. Farm could not store all the potato after harvest. Do we want to start storing some potatoes? I suppose we could. There's really no argument against it. So let's do it. Let's store some up. Kind of still consider a lot of this to be temporary, but we'll see. We'll see how things shake out. That one, of course, moved on me. I moved. I can't really blame the game on that. New storage two. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll get these to be potato. My dropper. Okay, we'll wait for those to construct and then we'll uh, patch into that line. Not enough maintenance. Yeah, maintenance is now kind of an issue. Let's uh, see. We upgraded one of these facilities. Let's um, let's unpause this guy. Not enough workers. Recruit. Should be able to pick up a few more. There's five. And there's six more for 11. So workers are okay now. We have three maintenance buildings running. One is a level two. And then at the end of the last episode, we upgraded a bunch of our storages. <laughs> yeah, check it out. They look kind of cool. A little taller. I like it. Just a little bit more of a safety margin. We did all the dirt ones too. It looks like those got upgraded pretty fast. Okay, we have a truck that's whining about something. What can't you get to that you want to get to? Water tanks. How is it possible that any of these have trucking off and off? Get the eyedropper tool, boom, and all these ones that are not accessible by trucks. Mark this, mark that one too for good measure. Trucking off, trucking off. So that took no more of that. I guess we need to do that or keep that in mind every time we build something, right? Yeah, here these have the trucking off, so it looks like we did it there. All right, so we need to route water to our cement factory. We got rid of all the little warnings. Let's get back to the real work. Unity is a little on the low side. Hmm. Uh, let's think about that for a second. What could we do? We turned off the boost for the maintenance. We could dial down the research lab. I'm kind of enjoying having it. Or we could take off an edict or like temporarily do the food one maybe and get a bit more unity let's do that let's do plenty of food right that gets us an extra unity and let's just see the unity kind of climb back up since we seem to have an abundance of food right now anyway i do want to keep those research labs going Retaining walls just finished. That will be interesting to experiment with. But let's try and stay focused where we're working, which is over here. Excavators now have access to the sand. Let's get somebody on that. Uh, should we hire a new one? We have the, we have 10 trucks. Let's get at least one more. We may reassign one of the terraformers excavators to help us out with the sand but let's get one crafted up i need to unpause that for that to get built let's this vehicle depot is done 
So let's pause that one and free up the workers. And now finally back over here, sand storage. We need sand and then we need to get cement. Is being taken care of. Crushed rock. Sand is the last thing on this side, right? We just need to leave room for this water. Um, right, isn't there a port for water? Here, I think. I guess I can pick transports. Maybe it'll show it, yeah. Let's take out... Take out this little belt. I don't think we need that anymore. Dismiss the retain. Oh, retaining walls. Let's look through this actually. Uh, when there is terrain dug from underneath a building or landslide that buries a building, it may trigger a building collapse. In that case, the building gets lost and it can trigger further landslides and collapses. When mining a deeper mine, terrain can also collapse, blocking vehicles from entering or exiting the mine. Each material has its own properties on how steep an angle it can hold until it collapses. You could build retaining walls to prevent terrain from uncontrolled collapse. These are designed to hold terrain in place. They can hold up to five tiles of terrain. Hmm. Does that mean five high or something you can build them? Retaining walls are best built before mining and dumping. They also cannot be built on top of any previously designated mining or dumping areas. Use E and Q to raise or lower the wall. Hmm. Okay, any terrain higher or lower than five beside the retaining wall will cause it to collapse. Okay, this is tricky. Okay. So this is the good area. Plus one. Minus four. No, to minus one, two, three, four, five. What? I'm a little confused. Higher or lower than five beside the retaining wall. This is at a depth of minus three. So yeah, I see one, two, three, four, five. Got it. So that's actually five deep. Retaining wall will hold. Anything deeper, you've got problems. But I imagine you can stack these. Retaining walls can also be used to create a contained place for dumping in otherwise unsuitable areas. Got it. Kind of cool. Looks like a silo bunker if you've ever played um, Farming Simulator. I see, I see, I see. We'll give this some thought. Yeah, we're getting a warning here that they're going to be a problem. This is cool. So this is showing you what the issue is. Um, so I guess we just lay these things down ahead of time, but we'll see. We'll see if we need them. I may just give myself a bunch of as much space as I can. I mean, imagine you could put them up along here or something. But anyway, we'll look at that later. Uh, let's get back to it. Sand, I think, is what we're looking at next. We need a mine control tower. Let's do it. Our excavator looks like it's ready. Let's put a mine control tower. How about... I like to have these things kind of out of the way. Um, how about right next to this one? Boom. And then you, your area is going to be over here. Boom. And we want to do a couple things here. We want to... Okay, what can be dumped here? Rock, slag, and waste. Sure. And let's get a mining designation. I said, with the sand, I'm a little paranoid on the sand. I've had problems with it in the past, but we're just going to grunt through it and learn what we need to learn. Okay, here's a mining designation. Let's get sand to level three. Take that down, and then I'm going to put a fill designation in here too. And it's going to be level one. Uh, level zero. Don't, yeah, how about level one flat? And I guess I can do E. I'm not going to be able to get to this probably, although that looks like they're happy. Let's see. We'll see what we can do here. 
So the idea, whoops, not that. Not you and not you. The idea being, I think once we fill this area in, we can dig through it easier. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, we can dig deeper, I mean. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. The water. I'm not super familiar with filling in watery areas. That obviously worked just fine. But now could we dig in here and not have any problems? Probably. Let's get an excavator assigned to that. Boom. We have one. How about a couple trucks? Let's get another excavator built. This guy will do the limestone. Um, in fact, we may get that going sooner. Where can we put that? Let's put a mine control tower down over here to start chewing away at this limestone. We'll grab this little nugget and then I guess we'll try and ramp up here somehow. Ramp up this way. To get on that land, the sand is just, like I said, it seems kind of dubious. I don't know if that's the best place for us to, to try and ramp up on the train, but we'll see. Curse to me, we could, yeah, we'll, whatever, we'll, we'll get to it. I was going to say we could have the excavator doing the sand work on this hill as well. Or could have moved it there instead. Edit area, let's do... An area kind of focused over here. Did you not take? Boom. And I will need mining designations here. Let's go flat. Let's turn off this building menu. Flat here, right? We'll just take out this little lump of limestone. And then we want to ramp up to this land. Fill all this out. But we need a way up here. And I kind of want to get at the sand too. Hmm. We'll see. We'll get to it. Uh, this fill designation we can get out of here. This is old. All of this can go, just kind of noise. Yep, yep, yep. I want to ramp up this way if we can. We may have to stack a fill designation on top of this. This says, are we really at level zero? Oh, yeah, we are. There's a divot here. Um. Let's fill to level one. This, I think, still needs fill. And then can I stack a mining designation on top of this? Just have a feeling we can. Go up this way. Nope, nope, nope. Trying to ramp up. Maybe not. It's not really doing a ramp, is it? Hmm. Could ramp up on this side. But I'd really like to ramp right there. Yeah, if I right click just off of the mining designation, it shuts the whole window down. That's a little annoying. I'm not sure if there's a way they could fi fix that. Are you going to go up for me? That's what I want, right? That's a start. I kind of want to fill that as well, like that, right? I want it to ramp up. Can we do a fill on top of this as well? Let's just see what happens there. We have our new excavator. Has that been kicked out? It has. Let's do it. Just start with a couple. 
We have storage now for limestone here. New storage two. Are these ones right now? Yeah. Let's upgrade these. And let's upgrade these as well. While we're at it, we can upgrade all these. Oh, not that one. Um, okay. Turn off the upgrade tool. Select you. Cancel. Don't think we ever need to upgrade the slag. Okay, finally, storage for sand. You just need to leave room for water. U shaped conveyor, that goes into there. Can be sand. That's all good. And now water. What are we doing on the water supply over here? Look at this. Water's actually going to be an issue, isn't it? We've had these pumps running steady. Reservoir is slowly, slowly declining. So throwing more pumps isn't going to help long term. Because this is just not being replenished, even with just two, two water pumps. Um, we have water collectors. That's probably not enough. Apparently, we're just chewing through the water. Once we switch over to concrete, let's see what these guys take in terms of their water consumption. These guys take three water for six bricks. Three water for six bricks. Bricks and concrete are the same here as far as the maintenance goes. I mean, as far as the construction part goes. Yeah, same ratio, right? That one was 3 for 6. This is 6 for 12. So, uh, moving over to the concrete. They call those slabs? These concrete blocks or concrete slabs. That is not going to improve our water situation. We may need to desalinate. Not crazy about that. Just hoping to get by with water pumps and, you know, some assorted rainwater collectors, harvesters around the island. But it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Hmm. And that's a little bit of a bummer. We're getting a little rain now. But these collectors just were not collecting enough. Oh, man. Hmm. What should we do? Do we want to accelerate our thinking about desalination? We researched it. Oh, how are we doing on wood, by the way? Kind of been neglecting that big time. Yeah, I think we're out. Let's, um... Diesel's looking good, better. <laughs> we're slowly accumulating it. We need to get the, the uh, ship out. Let's pause these guys to free up some workers. And let's send this guy out. I've not been paying attention. You should be happy to leave. Let's reduce this ship speed, save fuel. Um, where's our excavator? Oh, can he not get through? He can't get through. We need another ramp. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bummer. We have tons of supply on both these belts. I'm just going to chip these away. But yeah, we need a ramp so that our excavator can get at that limestone. Let's do it right here. Trying to get that one. Bummer. Yeah, fair amount of things to be concerned about. Iron ore is not one of them. We seem to have plenty of iron ore. That's probably backed up because the wood's backed up. Oh, man. Are you not going to get wood? Why not? 
start now. Do you need, what do you need? Okay, available to pick up, not available. Do you need these guys here? Shouldn't, I wouldn't think. These all have to be manned. Hmm. Kind of strange the ship can't go without having the dock workers. We'll leave one of them manned. How's this guy doing, by the way? Available to pick up. Not a ton. But what's going on? I thought this guy would be running pretty much nonstop once we ramped up the number of people here on the oil rig. I guess we have more that we could even add. Unity's in the positive. Workers are not. We are burning through food faster now. The reserve status is great. We have a ton left. Um, I'd like to do that. That puts us back 15 workers. Let's see if we can um if we can raise those. Actually, I need to go back to that screen. There's five more. Four more. We have more donations we could make. This guy does not want to help us recruit people, does he? Yeah, we can't even donate there. Hmm. This one's not bad. We could donate here. Oh, construction part. Yeah, all our construction parts are just hammered right now until we get the wood coming back. All right. All right. All right. In fact, what we can do on the worker shortage is we can shut these down because they don't have anything to do. Let's pause some of these. Pause tool. How's maintenance? Maintenance is recovered. Excavator can't reach. What? Oh, no terrain designations. Cool. I'm not upset about that. That means we can do more terraforming. Let's do it. That is you right at the area. Let's do all of this. And yeah. Well, that, that may solve that problem immediately. Let's see if these guys snap into action. How is dirt looking after all of that? Better. Well, that terraforming alone is going to keep our dirt supply going well. Uh, no one's complaining about a place to fill. But we're starting to fill this area in. Where else are we filling? Yeah, we have a bunch of fill area over here. Looks like they're maybe starting to work on that. I can't tell. That ramp is done. We chewed away some belt here. Let's get this ramp placed. I guess I'll go with smalls. Eventually we'll take these up. Probably have to put large. Uh, I probably need to carve out more space. I'm going to go real close. Closer. In fact, let's tear out more of this belt. I'm going to use a little unity in the interest of time. And I'm going to get this vehicle ramped down. Incidentally, our excavator should head over there if he can make it. Where does you need to go? You can, you can do it. Can you not do it? Still may not have a path because of this area. Oh no. Um, what could we do about that? We could, could just put a vehicle depot over here. Hmm. This is a choke point, big time. We need a ramp down this way. And a way for the 
vehicles from that truck stop or truck depot to come through here. Um, that's going to take time in the short term. I'm just going to put a depot over here real quick. This is going to solve our problem. I believe. We're going to want to move this later, maybe. Boom. But in the interest of time, quick deliver that. Let's despawn this guy. Uh, before we do, we're going to pause. This one is paused. I'm going to make sure my other vehicle depots are both paused. Paused and paused. And then once that one is constructed, it is. Now I think I can just recover this guy. Boom. And I think it's going to show up over here. There it is. Let's do the same thing with our tree harvester. We can kind of get that thing in motion again. Recover you for 20 unity. I have to unpause it to recover it, apparently. And that guy should kind of squeak out over here and we can mark some trees. Oh, although he's not going to be able to get there yet. We don't have it ramped. It's always something. Always something. Okay, this guy is trying to shore up that ramp. And our excavator will start digging. Um, we do need that. <laughs> we do need that wood. But I know this guy's going to complain as soon as I mark some trees. Let's try it for the heck of it. No, I'm guessing strongly that it's going to complain. This, was this a vehicle depot? Yeah, let's get rid of that. That was a different plan. But even if we put a vehicle depot and spawned vehicles in this area and did instant build, they still wouldn't have a way to get fuel. I'd have to run fuel pipelines and stuff. So it's not the shortcut that it seems. We can mine some sand over here too. This guy looks like he's doing sand. Doesn't have a place to put it yet. Okay, here is our ship with wood. Let's turn this one on. And unload some more. And then he should be able to go and pick up probably at least a couple more loads, right? Crude, we are starting to accumulate more diesel fuel. I like it. We will add other arrays, maybe around the island somewhere. How's rubber looking full? Let's uh, pause this guy, free up workers. Save a little bit of power. Beginning wood. Bricks. Bricks. Where are all these bricks coming from? Are we actually making them now? We are. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, what is going on? Is that what I want? Bricks there? This was meant to be just from trucks. So how are you guys doing it? These should have truck export to off. Truck export off, 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 off. Yeah, that little storage warehouse was meant to be just overflow. Not, not meant to have trucks going supplying bricks there. So that's a mistake. Fixed now. I do see wood making its way into our assembly machines or assembly buildings. That's good. Desalination is just now researched. We talked about this. We're getting rain now. Let's see what the res reservoir looks like. Yeah, it's, look at this declining. That's going to be our next little crisis. In fact, why don't we... Hmm. wondering if we should start conserving that water now. We'd have to turn off something else, though. Farming boost is off. Plenty of foods getting us more... We could turn off the fuel saver. I kind of like having it, <laughs> but we might need the water saver. Oh man, let's, yeah, let's reverse these. I hate doing it. 
But let's reverse these until we get this water showing better. Um, Because that's going to stifle all kinds of stuff. We're going to need water for the new concrete bricks. We need water, obviously, for the farms. Speaking of which, yeah, these guys are waiting on construction parts. My bad. Kind of neglected the wood a little too long. That cargo ship is off and running. That should stay pretty busy. Okay, no place to dump products. Is that a lie or is that a lie? Dirt. Uh, upgrade these. And dirt is looking good. What about here? Did I not mark these? Didn't. Dirt. I'm sure you guys saw that when I made the mistake originally, but I did not. That'll help a little bit with the dirt situation. It's feast or famine with the dirt, it seems like. For a while, we didn't have it. Now we've got too much. But I do want this terraforming crew to keep doing their thing. They should slow down a little bit as they hit coal. Because we'd be guessing we have an abundance. What do you have? Sand. Yeah. Soon. Soon, soon. We're going to have construction parts soon, fellas. Workers are freeing up. Let's unpause some stuff here. Boom, boom, and boom. Uh, this seems to be going just fine with all these things paused. How are we doing on vehicle parts? Probably getting a little scant. That is you. You need iron. You have plenty... Let's turn this guy back on and slowly recover our supply of vehicle parts. We have one running mechanical parts. It seems like that's been enough. And then we have one guy doing the lab equipment, which looks like we have tons of that. We've been running two labs, which is good for me anyway. I usually just run one. Crude, we're getting a little bit of crude. We just turned off the fuel saver, so this may decline. Uh, we have issues with coal. That's probably part of our problem right there. Let's upgrade these three. I'm going to do it, even though I know we're short on construction parts right now. Um, that's kind of a problem if that's not kept full. We should be belting that coal. It's just another project on a big, long list of projects. That's the only thing holding it up. Limestone. Let's do the same thing here. Keep full on that. Do the same here. Boom. Those are marked for upgrades. And water. Water is the last ingredient. How are we going to do it? Where are we going to take water from? Putting off this decision. We have a lot of water over here. Tons of water, right? And this has all been fed mostly, 99%, just from these rainwater collectors or harvesters. We could run a pipe. In fact, we already have a pipe going down that way. Let's see if we can tap into that. Looks like we're going to be able to, right? We'd have to run this guy. Oh, man, that's a long way have water over here. It's either that or tap into this pipe, which is actually quite a bit closer. I need to fill this area too. Hmm. And this map, this terrain's a little tough. do something unrelated just because I noticed it. I'm going to put a couple more housing blocks down here. We have the construction parts. In fact, looks like I could put one right there too. Let's do it. And then we can upgrade these as well. Um, what does that take? 
Yeah, we can upgrade some of these. I'm going to wait till our construction parts recover a little bit. They're complaining about not being able to store potatoes. I can't do anything about that right now. Mine control tower has no designations to mine. That doesn't look true to me. No valid designations. Can you not chew into this, guys? And why would you not be able to chew into that? That looks like mine. Okay, mining designation. Can you not chew into this? Or did I accidentally erase those? I might have erased them accidentally. Did we get limestone over here is what I'm kind of looking at. Yeah, it looks like it has a tiny bit. Feel like I'm missing something. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm wondering why we don't have more limestone in these storages. Back to water. What are we going to do with water? Where are we going to get it? Could put a big desalination plant right here. Hmm. Starting to see this pump or this uh, tank fill up with water, but man, we have a lot to fill up. I hate to tap into this water supply situation, which is already struggling to keep up. Reservoir continues to get lower. Reserve underground. Bummer. Kind of don't feel like doing. Um. Yeah, I don't feel like doing the desalinated water. Let's take a look and see what that's all about. We have it researched. So, okay, seawater pump. That gets us a bunch of seawater. And where do we process that? Distiller gets us fresh water, brine, and exhaust, right? We're going to burn through some coal. But it looks like, yeah, we have to run it through a distiller to get fresh water. We get 36 out of every 60, and then we have brine. Brine, later on, we can extract salt from that, maybe? can't remember. Uh, an exhaust. Do we want to do this? Chew through our coal for water. Boy, I was hoping we would not have to do that. But we may need to do a little bit. Um, that would feed our cement factory. We could maybe do something right offshore here. Oh, I wanted to fill this all in, though. I, we still can and just move this later. Let's try our hands at a little bit of desalination and see what we get. In fact, let's do that next episode. Let's wrap this one here. We're finally chewing into the limestone. So that's been a long-term objective. We just need to get water to this concrete plant. And then we can route these bricks. We'll probably scale this up and do another one, maybe just like it. We'll have to see. And then we need to route those bricks somewhere out this way. They need to make their way onto this belt, basically. Or else we could, yeah, I probably want to just do that. I was going to say we could set up another set of um, assemblies that are building construction parts for us. And have that separate one use the concrete bricks. We have a lot of dirt here to make use of. Is there any reason to keep the bricks around? 
once we switch over to concrete, bricks, bricks, can we see where they're used? Bricks, consumption. Doesn't look like it. It looks like they're only used for construction parts. So once we switch over, maybe we don't need to worry about the dirt. We can redirect that dirt to being terraformed. Instead, we're making it out of rock instead. Which seems to be a little more labor intensive, right? Because we have to grind grind this rock into gravel. Hmm. I have to think about that. I have to think about that. Kind of like the idea of keeping this brickworks going. Maybe we could split the line. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Have to think about that. I guess there's no way to split the line. All of these are feeding off the same belt. Uh, I have no idea what I just clicked. Something I didn't mean to click. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's leave it there. I'll get this display <laughs> display out of here. I don't know how I triggered this. But uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up here for now. Next episode, we will get that water routed and try some desalination. Hopefully our wood will recover. Um, our cargo ship is doing its thing. We do have some on the island now, and I think there's plenty out at the sawmill. So we'll pick it up next episode for now. So Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to Glattercat patrons and channel members whose contributions keep this channel alive. Grateful for that support. And thanks to everybody that's been giving the videos a thumbs up and providing suggestions along the way. Appreciate that as well. I'll see you all in the next episode.